Not it. I'm so sorry if I hit you on a dar. Arg! My face. This is not a bullet wound, right? Mm. Well, this grey skinned fellow here, he needs to learn the meaning of pain. And, well, that's that what he was, thinks, anyways, but he misses. This was, was a very good attempt. And, if I could step away. Mm -hmm. Well, it is the most fun when they run, so. You can smack it. That long hammer is long. Stay here, you. It's a reach weapon, yeah. Oh, wow. That is it. Brings it down. Holy and crap. That does something. His little body. Uh, that certainly does something. You know, he, he kind of seems to enjoy the pain. Or is trying to enjoy it, but can't quite. He would right, well, rather inflict pain. The best kind of hunt. You know, both parties enjoy it. She certainly enjoys inflicting this upon the little monster. Alright, so now we get to play with action economy. Uh, as a free action, I'm going to uh, get rid of the mouse thing. As a swift action, I'm going to make it a... Uh, make it the bull. And then as, as another free action, I'm going to drop my longsword, and then as a move action, I'm going to draw my glaive of his arm, and then as a standard action, I'm going to attack. So, go, let's go see. Back. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I think his arm goes past an adult's head. Oop. Yep. This, apparently... There we go. Gotta reselect this, because apparently my token is not on the current map. There we go. That is a hit, and that takes another chunk of damage uh, out of his health pool. It's not a very good. Discussion. He's very mad that this dude made me sit on a spiky chair. And he doesn't seem to feel very well, kind of falling down to the floor. Into a mysteriously appearing wheelchair. <laughs> yes. Full of spikes. With, with, with spikes. spikes on it. <laughs> well, he shrieks, and he definitely starts begging for his life, going, Please, please, I. I was bored. Where is Nothing. the treasure? I did tell you where the secret door is. And, and... You were invisible yeah, I, when I you did. pointed. He, he will point again to the secret door. It's there, I swear. And it's Elida's turn. He looks down on the creature. How many have you tortured? And destroyed in this dark prison creature. Fifty-eight! I counted. Very well. Oh, well, I tried. <laughs> he still manages to dodge. Somehow. It's like that, that scene in a movie where he's laying on the ground and you try to stab down, but he rolls out of the mm -hmm. way. And as he gets attacked once more, he says, Please, I can tell you the, the password needed to get... Through one of the rooms. What is the password? It's it's good Baron Savo Wilson. That's the password. Leave me alone, please. What else can you tell us? He stutters but can't really produce anything. You want to take another attack of opportunity? <laughs> he doesn't do anything right now. He's just on the floor, hoping that you don't kill it. I move. I move to here, drawing my sword in my other hand. Uh. Yep, he hired. Oh, <laughs> poof! You're just da just dashing past Eladar, slashing with the sword, watching the blood drip across the ground. Combat is over. Roll me a perception check, Eladar and Faunra, please. What was that? I don't think I've ever seen something like that before. <laughs> Hello, Doris. Uh, is it a creature of evil? Most likely a... I can tell that. <laughs> he smiles, of course. Most likely a small devil or a demon, perhaps. But Ondra reaches for her, reaches for a cloth to clean off the blade before putting back into the sheath and loads it's her like gun again. a sort of a sarcastic look, you know, to say, you know, that 
basically the same thing. A barian kind of scratches his head and said, I didn't know there was a difference between demons and devils. Out of those shrugs. Yeah, now that you can look around this room somehow, you do see the plaque that the raven imp was sitting on before on this wall. It reads, Confession cleanses the soul, pain clarifies the mind. And below it seems to be a crest of some sort. It is a... I do believe it is a raven sitting on top of crossed spears. Very fancy looking. Might be worth something to someone who wants a historical curiosity. It is somewhat heavy though. Weighing about 50 pounds. 50 pounds being two and a half feet in diameter. Yeah, can we tell what the, what the crest represents, you know, what the crest is supposed to be? Or is it actually like significant to some historical event or? You could make a knowledge history check. Anyone got that? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> well, then no. it's just a pretty crest. Do I no, know I'm... it as a resident yeah, of whatever. this place? You could make a knowledge history check. I don't have that. Oh, well. I, I, was, I was hoping it'd be a local, but you know. Let's uh, open the secret door. Well, roll a perception check first. All of us? Just, yeah, there, there's a secret door there. Oh. Open the secret door. As you try to open it, it opens. Apparently, there was no key. Never was. There's not even a keyhole. Oh, it's Just pretty bad goes. secret doors if it's a keyhole. A hidden keyhole. Well, you have like a stone that slides out the way to reveal a keyhole. Well, he wasn't lying about that. How much health are you on, um, Dark? Um, seven out of eleven. Do you want to heal? Uh, I don't think a heal's needed yet. Okay. If you know, Fondra clenches the wound slightly, <laughs> but just wraps it in a little bit of cloth. You see a corridor. Terribly dusty. There's not as much debris here as there was in the other rooms. There's still some like cracks in the walls and stuff. There's really not anything special. Iberian, will you? Yeah. Back in a mouse form, by the way. So I take it you just let the crest like hang there at the wall and yeah, not take sure. it. For now, we can get it on the way out. Could you roll me an appraise check if you want to? Try if I can do it unskilled. Sure. Anyone can. Anyone can attempt it. You know, you really think that thing might be worth something if you would just carry it out. It's freaking heavy. Yeah. Well, you could just leave well, it. Well, maybe when we leave, we should take it with us. Also, these torch in instruments they could also be worth something. In retrospect, you should just loot the entire place, but that would be... We mm. found these chairs. We begin to go back and take all the, the doors, like the hinges and stuff, <laughs> the scrap iron. It can be sold to the local crap. Uh, you know. Maybe some of these tiles on the floor could be pried yeah, up. Yeah, you know. Sell those. Tiles are expensive. Yeah, like you could use it to make a new tower. You know, all the, all, look at all these bricks. Yeah, if you want to make like a new fancy torture the house, chamber. Stop um, making bricks, you know. Yeah. Torture devices could be used for. Alicia will do no such thing. This is not anything that looks shiny, and it also is not a big skull of some cool thing. So she doesn't really get there. Well, the black was shiny, right? The black shiny. was kind of bronze or something. Bronzes? Slightly rusty. Oh. Do I know what metal that is? We, uh, we'll what? get it on the way out. Knowledge engineering. Do I know the Do I know what metal it is? It is circumference. I don't know. <laughs> That's it's a metal now. It's a very rare metal. I believe only the dwarves manufacture it. Well, <laughs> because dwarves have a lot of circumference. Yes. Burp, 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 burp. <laughs> yeah, let's. <that's... laughs> Actually, let me. That's pretty. Yeah, you see a hallway. Oops, I made it worse. <laughs> no. Not for the first time. There we go. I will assume that you're looking for traps so you don't have to move five feet at a time. Okay, good. No. Ah, oh, crap. Well, we, yeah, we still should race ahead like a hundred tiles at a time. Oh, yeah. We're uh, walking see cautiously. Hallways, dust. 
And it's very, very dark. Unnaturally dark? Torch cats, come! It's just very dark. I have a... I have a dancing light around me. Yeah, but Torch Cat is the best. <laughs> you really should have put that secret door in one of the other walls. It really yeah. seems to be a, a bit of a long way around, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe there's something behind, between the two rooms in the tunnel. Perhaps. As it gauge the distance. And stop, stop, stop. As Alida and Aberon round around that corner, they see something very strange. As the floor oh. here seems to drop away, and there's like a trough of green sludge with a very, very narrow uh, ledge at the side. Oh, it's an acid oh. pit. Everyone loves green sludge. Well, Elbrun Brendadar. Maybe uh, you should go in there. And yeah, let me reveal some more. <laughs> Elador doesn't really seem Elf, like he wants to go into the sludge. Elf, Elf mm -hmm. As, oh, no! You, no, you do geez. see a a ledge that might be traversable with some difficulty. Hmm. Like climb checks or? Uh, you'd probably have to try to keep your balance on the ledge more than climb. The like walls are incredibly smooth, and it would be very difficult, even even for Tiro to climb. What's the hold up? Uh, acid pit or well, slime pit? I'm not sure which. Uh, well, the green. the green stuff does seem very thick, very like it, it's Viscous. not sludge. Then yeah, it's it's like sludge. It's almost almost hard, uh, almost like uh, words. Looks like a sponge more than anything else. Sponge. Scent. What does it smell like? It smells disgusting. Sniff, sniff, sniff. If if you want to investigate the sludge, you can try to touch it. You could try to make a uh, craft alchemy check. Hmm. Alchemy. No, I don't have any alchemy. Uh. Well, Fauna would argue that you know this might have been very potent asset at some point in the past. But age is a cruel mistress, as they say, apparently, where Fawn was from. It's not that dangerous anymore. It's still somewhat, probably. You shouldn't probably bathe in it too much. But it clearly lost most of its, of its potency. It's, uh, you, this used to be acid. It's, quite, it's very weak now. Not harmless, but it's definitely quite weak. Prolonged exposure is not recommended. So perhaps that lever in the other room would make a bridge here? Maybe Seems like whoever was here would would spend their time running over this every time. So a, a perception or a craft engineering check? Knowledge engineering, not craft. Craft engineering. This is a thing now. Is it? <laughs> I'll go for the knowledge one instead, actually. But Yeah, yeah Elida and Tiro's do see some things at the ledge that would suggest that there's like some co sort of mechanism involved. Fonra clearly knows what to look for, looking for the gears and like the small uh, like uh, the, the signs of prior movement. And it seems that this entire thing is simply a trap that is now broken. Perhaps the hallway was supposed to be either completely covering the pit or completely not covering the pit, and not this in between like it currently is. Do I feel this might be what links to the other mechanism by what I saw before? Well, you do see some sort of rocky ridge going like this way, and then down here. It it looks like a hollow stone tube that may contain one of the chains that you saw on the other in the other room. It is certainly possible. Well, judging by the gears and your observations, it, is it possible that this is linked to the mechanisms we saw before? Possibly, yes. Uh, in that case, I would suggest that you return there and try it out. Uh, I would rather not try to balance myself along that ledge. I, I, am, I am decent enough at balancing, though that seems to be quite a long ledge, and I wouldn't want a chance either. Change your head. You're muted. 
it easier. Shakes her, uh, shakes her head. Doesn't want to do this either. Oh, I'll let her start backtracking. You may suddenly backtrack. Yeah, you still see the cloud of sparks sitting contently on the metal gears. Eldar moves in. Increase down here. Looks, uh, looks to the rest of the group. Basically, are you ready for this? Not. Can we stand here? You can stand there. Excellent. <laughs> and then, if everyone seems to be ready... Gun. Gun ready. Right. If you decide to attack, we'll go into initiative. Yep. You we will not get in a uh, surprise round, though. Like watching the the gun. Is, yeah. He's glaring at us. He he narrows his non-existent eyes at you. Guys, don't stand in front of me when I shoot because because you give give it soft cover. Okay. If you're in the way, I'm in another amount. Okay. So. I got it. I got it. Okay. You we attack. Go there. there. Yep. We attack. You attack. Anstrengung. Evens. Von Rex first. October first. You know, Von Rex. Honor is quite quick. Um, she doesn't feel like going into melee again. Uh, so, out of the gun. And. That is. That certainly hits it. And with and minimum damage. Minimum damage. Seems slightly annoyed. Hey! You can't delay until after me. Mm. Yeah, the lay after El Eladar. Let's put me under him. Okay. I'm not on the initiative. What? Oh, yeah. sorry. Hold him. Um, how do I initiative? I got it. Take, an, take initiative. Did you? Did you click initiative? Yeah. I did just now. Okay, you would be right in front of it. Okay. Have a step up here and swing at it. Let's see if I can hit the thing. Whap! Nope. That is a miss. That is a miss. Elysia? Can I shoot from here? So peek out? Um, I would say no. There? Or do I have to be in the line? You would probably have to be in the corridor. Maybe oh. too many ranged in a dungeon. Go here. And there, then, then shoot at the thing. I'll teach it. Sure will. That is a hit. Actually, that should be more more damage because it's point blank. Six, six damage. Yep. Huh? Six damage. It is very annoying now. It's very cross. It's it's saying get off my lawn and Orin. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what you think, anyways. Uh, it's making weird sparkly noises. <laughs> Crackles upset. Mm -hmm. A period go. Yeah. Stop buzzing at me. It buzzes louder in, ex in, re in response. If only Mrs. Snuffles was here. Stop it! It's saying, don't don't kill me, just pull the damn lever. <laughs> I'm just here, not trying to stop you. Oh god! SMS. Yes. You well, it sure does like metal, and there's this giant half metal man right in front of him. <laughs> I'm the Iron Man. You will slam you, oh, and oh, since I you are, Iron Man. since you are in iron armor, he does seem to hit you a lot easier. <laughs> but still misses, <laughs> and he doesn't want to move. Drawing his mystical power from the gears, no doubt. Hero. Yeah. Uh. So. It has cover because of. Uh, yes. You can move up in front. You can move so up in front. So you can leapfrog off of each other. Boing. Um, it does. You do take a minus four look at, in melee. You don't have precise shot. Yeah, I have uh, added firing into melee. Okay. But you are on point blank as well, though. So. <laughs> wow! Look at that damage. It was mm -hmm. it was the twice the amount. It's pretty good. It is. Uh, 
There it is. I'll go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and spend a point of grit to reload as a move action. And then shoot. A target uh, firing into melee. Nope. Ah, it doesn't hit. Do keep track of your misfire chances and stuff because I won't. I am. Okay. Right now, gun, right now, this unless unless I'm using one of my special bullets, the gun will only miss fire on a fumble. This is my but. favorite part of the show. Die, foul beast! Nope. It refuses. You kind of hit it, but you kind of just pass through a part that wasn't in the map. It, it is a good part. Well, let's say uh, do the thing because you know, drop bow. Move up. Swing hammer. That is just a miss. Yep. Yeah. Can I do it? I don't know. Can you? No. <laughs> nope. Take school of fighting, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, have yeah. any of you rolled higher than a 10 yet? Nope. Good. I, well, uh, I think my first shot I did, but... I got a ten. Yeah, the elemental seems to not really want to move, so he's going to attack the only target in range with That's its ju juicy metal armor and Juice misses completely. Yep, parries it somehow. <laughs> it's a miss. I shall reload regularly, which will take up my entire turn. Well, let's, uh, let's try this again. Aha! That is a hit, and it sparks once more angrily and then just dissipates. I should have just removed it, but I didn't. Yeah, the electricity that was going through the gears and like chains and stuff just disappears after a couple of seconds. Oh, our generator's gone. And the lever just stands there, really. As how levers tend to do. How Freudian. Um, well. The, the lever's happy to see you. <laughs> I can the see gazebo. that. Um, oh, the gazebo. The gazebo. Uh, Eleanor looks to Fonra and sort of indicates the lever says, Is it safe to operate? It appears so. There's no electricity through it, and I haven't seen anything that would indicate a problem. Alright. Eleanor reaches out and pulls the lever. You pull the lever, releasing some sort of counterweight, which pulls the chains going to the ceiling, and you hear a distant rumbling sound, and then it just stops. Did the rumbling sound yes. come from the area where the acid was? It certainly came from the western direction. All right. You can see from like tracing the hands where like all the gears and chains were moving. Mm -hmm. I don't suppose the elemental had any fantastic goodies. It had itself, and that's about it. It was very lonely. <laughs> he nods. Very well, let's go and see if we have cleared a path. Although your dancing lights are gone now. I'll refresh them. You only have it like once per day. What? Uh, that is nonsense. As you round the corner, you see that indeed some sort of platform has extended from the wall. Not completely since the mechanism was somewhat stuck still, but it certainly seems a lot easier to traverse. Still balance checks or? I will still require acrobatics checks. You <laughs> cannot take 10. <laughs> well, you know, I, you know, I've got a decent chance to this. I have like a plus seven. I have My rope. ships once more into that of a tiger thing. So someone should walk over there and see if there's actually something to find. Yeah, my acrobatics is non-existent. Um, when I go in tiger form, it minus plus five. I plus seven. It doesn't seem terribly hard to traverse. It's just a bit slippery from the leftover green goop that is some so, uh, yeah. that is on the like. Funeral will start moving. Okay. Roll me a check. One acrobatics check coming right up. It can only go badly. 
yeah, you have no problem whatsoever. Yeah, how it's, difficult it, do I think it would be for the others? It's kind of slippery. It's like walking on snow on like a paved road. I mean, if you don't start running, it should be fine. If you're sure. careful, you should be able to move across it. It's kind of like icy ground a little bit. Eldor doesn't like any of this. As you round the corner, you see that it was indeed pretty good that you pulled the lever because the normal ledge that was simply stuck there would have simply ended. If we didn't open this up, well, let's say the... It seems like the, where the would have come up before would have been completely gone. We've had no way across. Anyway, there is a platform over here. And you do see a door leading to somewhere. Yeah, very well. Be careful. Oh, yeah. I am so careful. Oh, God, that is a good roll. Oh, that is... It's plenty. You, you, see, you see Fonra smiling at you. Oh. One step at a time. Let's do this. Dwarves are not known for that acrobatic check. You know, you try to walk but slip, and you do indeed go flying off into the green stuff. No, no, no. You take... Can I try to catch her? Uh, sure, roll me a reflex safe. Can I try to? You roll me a reflex Jump safe. Jump under her, me. quickly. <laughs> you try, but no, not quite. Wait, wait. I, uh... Uh, her reflex is probably better. No. <laughs> that, that is not enough. Oh, he, me, me and Fordo just hear a splash. <laughs> it's not so much as a splash as like a cracking sound as the completely like hard and uh, dry sludge just cracks a bit. You do take one point of damage. And you do feel like it would not be a good idea to stick in this sludge for look too long. Uh, roll me a climb check. And pull back in again. Yep, uh -huh. you can make it out, no problem. Really, I I was I don't think it was that bad, did you? You didn't think it was uh, okay. roll me another acrobatics check though. And the roll looks down at this full plate, it's like I don't <laughs> <laughs> Whee! <laughs> yeah, um... Like, you're, you're, wearing, you're wearing massive, massive armor and you're, you've got a cross fine. I don't know why that's... <laughs> Best plate. <laughs> Crash! I, uh, I was lucky, I think. It's not about luck, it's about skill and elven grace. Roll me a climb check as you, I assume, again, immediately again, again. try to climb out. Yeah, that's enough. <laughs> Roll me another acrobatics check, please. She's gonna, she's gonna die from falling in sludge. <laughs> <laughs> My luck today is not very Woo! great. You're getting there, though. I mean, you're. I mean, I don't have a big penalty because my my, my actual actual dexterity is pretty good. Mm. All right. Time check. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should just go down on all fours and just very slowly. I think that's what I'm already doing. <laughs> you're basically already doing that. Uh, An another check, please. This is why the the army of knights is not a good thing. <laughs> <Damn it>. <laughs> <laughs> the dwarf comes careening around the corner. Slamming <laughs> <laughs> into the oh, evil trap in the world. Uh, apparently, it was actually. Uh, s seeing uh, this, back up again. Oh no! See right. Seeing this, you um, take another point of effort. I'm going. To, I'm going to go help. Y yes. Yes. <laughs> wow. Please. I I uh, can't. I'm I'm up, up. Yes. I make my acrobatic check to come over here. I assume that's yeah. okay. Her hands now sort of full of blisters. I I, I, I try to help her stop her falling off. Yeah. yeah. Roll like another. Roll another, like roll another acrobatic check to aid. Yeah. Roll an acrobatic check. There's my aid another check. Yeah. You grant her a plus two bonus. Hooray! <laughs> yes. There we you go. Managed. I like hand holding her across. <sighs> Slowly but surely, you manage. <laughs> it was very undignified, but uh, seems kind of cross. Yeah, I can imagine. She looks at it and says, "I'll have to go back over that at some point." A little nod solemnly. Yes, uh, same here. Do, oh, yeah. do you feel you can do a better job than um, our lovely worm rider? 
Miss Ironstar. Jake. Hey, mouse boy. Yeah. Do you think I do? I think I could what? Do you think you can do better than our dwarf? I hope so. Go on, here, right now I'm not you. mouse boy. Right now I'm tiger boy. Okay. Just right. come across. Come on, tiger. I'm waiting for you. I, I'm going go. back and forth. I'm, I'm hand holding people at this point. Oh, okay. People falling in. I gotcha. <laughs> you fall in. <laughs> See, that's why I was over here to hand hold you. You take one point of acid damage. I become a Try monkey. Try to climb out. No. <laughs> oh god, look at the acid's effect. Now I look like a monkey and I gain a plus four on climb. It's barely enough. I ate, an, I ate another on acrobatics, Jax. Plus two. Yep, that is enough. Back to... Back to... Tiger. <laughs> I yes, hand hold you, you I hand it. hold you across. Uh, oh Thank the heavens. Bon and now really back to mouse. Honor feels really proud. But while uh, while they were doing that, um Ilya sort of sort of kind of apologizing to no one. The whole the whole affair. It is no trouble really, like Elda trying to calm calm her. You see here a door. Eldar opens the door. The door opens. Ha! We know if we weren't wounded before, we're wounded now. Mouse boy. What? Yeah. Kill my face. <laughs> that is not what Eldar said. Wait. You know, to, to be quite honest, I did not expect a DC 7 acrobatics check to be that much of a trouble. You know, Greece, Greece has requires a it has a ten up to fifth and level or something. Mm -hmm. You should have told me it's DC seven. I couldn't fail. You see a uh, really long hallway. Whoever well, has designed this place was horrible at actually managing their hallways. With, with my with my architecture and engineering, you can you can you can hear me like muttering like all the design flaws I see. Mm. Well, this is ominous. Me is just annoyed that all these walls are stone. I think I'm gonna use a cure like wounds on myself. The moment you find like one dirt wall, like your worm is gonna charge through. Yeah, basically, he's like outside trying to trying to find a way in. There we go. Do a little magic and heal myself. D it, does Alicia want one? I only have one more, but uh, well, she won't say no. Yeah, her hands are full blisters right now. Sort of. Well, how much so. how much HP are you on, basically? Eight. Out of 13. Yeah, that's the same as I was. Yeah, I'd take one. Just uh, one day plus one in the healing macro. I'm not going to roll it. It's not very good healing, but... Oh, no. <laughs> he lets it just accusatorily. That was not very good at all, was it? <laughs> I rolled the terrible. That, that was only two jumps worth of effort. <laughs> Well, I'll cut the blisters. So she'll sort of nod and say, thank you. Mm. Yeah. A little bit of shame still. Uh, you didn't try using Jonas where he has spell resistance to bypass. Yeah, walking through here, you really see that this is a long hallway. There's some cracks in the wall, likely from age, maybe from the collapse. You aren't entirely sure. But there's not much. At the end, you do see a iron door with a small window in it. Hmm. Hmm. I don't like it. Win a barred window? A glass window? Go to it's a barred window. Hmm. Oh, let's go. Yeah, from all the uh, doors in this place, this is probably the one that looks the most sturdy. And looking inside, you see what appears to be a tiny room with another door at the end of it. Uh, another iron door, very sturdy looking. This one even more so than the sturdy one you're standing in front of right now. Uh, but without a window. Is the uh, bar door open? The door is unlocked. All right. You can open it freely. And the door opens the door. That's suspicious. Is there any sign of like any like, is like, 
What is this? <laughs> what is this small room? Roll me a perception check. Hmm. The. Oh, no. just, just all of you, roll me perception checks. I'm, I'm assuming you're all looking into this room. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. This is everyone. Yeah, one more. A lot of tall people's backs, that's what I see. <laughs> yeah, Fauna and, and Tiro do see that this, this room's floor does look somewhat odd. Very odd. Potentially. Is it like. Trappy. Hmm. I'm, well, oh, so do I? Do I? Do I think I could? Do I think? Do I think I could prevent such a thing from um, occurring? You could certainly try. Uh, before you sort Does of move in there, uh, for, uh, uh, like holds out his hand, for uh, Eladar like holds out his hand. Forna fishes around in his belt and pulls out a bag of marbles. Yes. <laughs> and then he takes a few of the marbles and throws into the room, aiming at the floor. With the room is now full of marbles. Mm -hmm. It may take more weight than marbles. Perhaps. Sort of gest gestures to uh, Aberion to poke it with his giz arm. Yeah. Poke, poke. Putting some pressure on the floor. As you poke the floor, you hear a booming voice. Please close the door before proceeding with the passphrase. No. Oh yeah, we no. got the passphrase from the... The raven imp. Yes. Well, wow. looks like we're going in two groups. Does you feel like squeezing? No, not particularly. I'm okay with last. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you are. Huh? Swan, sure. So you step inside. The voice has not repeated yet. Yeah, well, close the door, sure. Farewell. So Looks to... Uh... There, what was the phrase? <laughs> um, good Baron, and then whatever his name was. Wilsit. Yeah. You, yeah, the imp said good Baron Savo Wilsit. Right. I'm assuming you step into the room and quickly close the door. Yes, and then we yeah. utter Surely close the, door. the passphrase. You utter the passphrase and the eastern door unlocks audibly. A little shouts back, it seems to be fine. Oh, no, I open it. And as you open, open it, no answer from the other side. <laughs> yes, feet quickly escaping. As you open the door, oh. Oh, you God. see this thing, which seems to be a mechanical being, sort of standing on three legs with four arms. It slowly spins around some mechani mechanisms inside, spinning to life. As it turns to, to you, and in its robotic voice says, Please present the crest for passage. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. We left it behind, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you do? Mm. Close the door. Close the door. <laughs> you close the door. Yes. And I, open, I open this one. And then, and then we then we go back. Yep, go back. And we, we get the... Well, we send... The most send, agile uh, people. Yeah, we'll send Fondra it, back I, to get the crest. I will get it, mainly because I'm quick as well. I have, like, the damn run feet. Alicia seems very confused. Uh, there seems to be some sort of uh, mechanical creature on the other side. He, uh, it demands the crest. Oh, well... I take, I take the crest. All right, then. Is that okay, sheep? <coughs> You can certainly make your way over there and take have? the crest. It is somewhat heavy, 50 pounds. 50. But it shouldn't. 50 pounds. If you're encumbered, you will have to make another acrobatics check that you may be able to fail, but it's it's really not that huge of a um, thing. I will be encumbered, not heavily encumbered. I'll keep that in mind. That means I, I on a one, I do fail across that bridge. Should be fun. If you do, you might lose the crest. Keep that in mind. Well, you know, on a one, you know, it's better than most people with chances, I think. Just hold it in a dead man's I pocket. guess just don't roll a one. It's all on you. 